3D printing is now an option for many, and a lot of people are embracing the possibilities it brings. On the web, there are lots of forums where people share plans and recipes to create all manner of stuff. From building toys and simple models, to even printing 3D guns. Here are some of the 3D printable materials. Metal, fiberglass, diamond, human cells. This is Materials Lab, and today we are going to look at 3D printing materials. Of course, when we think of 3D printing, we automatically think of plastic. There are two main types of plastics, thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics are the most commonly used type of plastic. These plastics go through numerous melt and hardening cycles, which means they can be heated and cooled a lot until the desired shape is met. A common analogy for thermoplastics is butter, which can be melted, re-solidify and melted again. With each melting cycle, the properties change slightly. On the other hand, thermosetting plastics remain in a permanent solid state after curing. A thermosetting material is like cake batter. Once baked into a cake, it cannot be melted back into batter again. However, plastic may still rain above the rest, but there are other materials that you can print with. Printing metal might seem somewhat abstract. It is referred to as direct metal laser sintering. The process is used in the aviation industry to streamline operations and manufacture ready-to-install parts. And there is even a mass market of printers creating 3D printed jewelry. Carbon fiber is a material that can be added to the more traditional plastic to create a composite that can be as strong as steel but less intensive to use than aluminum. Diamond. Imagine the possibility of printing the world's hardest material. What could we do with this material? It is now possible to 3D print diamond composite meaning this super-hard material can now be printed in highly complex shapes. Using additive manufacturing and a tailor-made proprietary post-processing method, Sandvik has managed to 3D print diamond composites, which can be formed into almost any shape. There is a difference between Sandvik's diamond and natural or synthetic diamond, which is that Sandvik's is a composite material. Most of the material is a diamond, but to make it printable and dense, it needs to be cemented in a very hard matrix material, keeping the most important physical properties of pure diamond. Historically, 3D printing in diamond was something that none of us imagined was achievable. Explained Anders Olsen, delivery manager at Sandvik. The most bizarre and the one everyone is waiting to see is printing human cells. Research at the Wyss Institute has led to the development of a multi-material 3D bioprinting method that generates tissue of living human cells that are nearly tenfold thicker than previously engineered tissues. This innovative bioprinting approach can be modified to create various vascularized 3D tissues for regenerative medicine and drug-tested endeavors. Printing human cells could lead to printing cells into a structure that can be inserted into the body. Imagine, we could print new organs and other parts of the body, or have them repair parts within the body. 3D printing is advancing research in a lot of areas, and what they could provide in the future is certainly something to keep an eye on. It may be possible to have a fully functioning 3D printed heart pumping inside your body. Stay tuned for the next episode of Materials Lab next week. In the meantime, check out our other original series.